NASA is holding an open call for a simulated year long Mars mission Chapia 2 and joining me this morning to talk about it is NASA Chapia co investigator Suzanne Bell. Good morning, Suzanne. Can you can you tell us what this mission is all about? Good morning. Well, we're getting ready for another one year mission where we'll have people in isolation and confinement for 378 days and we'll be um, putting them in a Mars realistic environment so that we can learn about how we can help humans survive and thrive on Mars someday. And who would be able to join this mission? What are you looking for in applicants? Well, applications are now open, so so if you are a pioneer and explorer and adventure, we'd encourage you to apply. Um, we're trying to get people who are astronaut-like as possible. So this would be um, individuals who are healthy, 30 to 55 years old, U.S. citizens or um, permanent residents and able to work. Um, we're looking for people who are really committed to science and have uh, an advanced STEM degree or are pilots, uh, cool. just like we do with our astronauts. Cool. Astronaut-like, but you don't have to be an astronaut. So this is really opening the doors for some people who might have some genuine curiosities about this. Well, it's definitely a way to challenge yourself to see sure. if you'd be able to survive and thrive in a, in a Mars realistic environment. 378 days in, an, in a habitat that's about 1,700 square feet yeah. um, with similar restrictions that we'll expect on Mars, including um, the type of exercise equipment you'll have, living in a small space with three other people, uh, communication delay back to Earth. So there'll be um, delay when you talk to mission control, when you talk to your friends and family. So we're, we're trying to recreate as much as possible what we expect a Mars surface habitat to be like and collecting all sorts of data to better understand how humans can survive and thrive in that circumstance. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it certainly sounds like a sci-fi movie. I mean, it sounds like something that I would imagine you get a lot of applicants for. But as you mentioned, there are sacrifices. Will they have m much communication with their family at all while they're doing this? It's constrained to be more uh, mission realistic. So we're trying to replicate what we think currently would happen uh, when a crew would go to Mars. And so it, it is on a communication delay. Okay. So as Mars is further away from Earth and as a crew would actually be on Mars, there would be a significant communication delay up to 22 minutes each way. And we do wow. mimic that in our circumstance here. Wow. Suzanne Bell, the deadline to apply is April 2nd. Anything you'd like to say before I let you go? Uh, no, just uh, thank you for your interest and check out the website at chapia.nasa.gov for more information. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.